Khmer princess joins the ranks of the dancers in a ballet arranged especially by Her Majesty the Queen for this Bung Soon. Performed by Her Royal Highness, Princess Popatevi, the dance is to further the pleasure of the spirits of the former kings while they enjoy the food offering. In its perfection of posture, its adherence to classic forms, and its deliberate pace, this ancient dance offers to the royal ancestors of the princess the utmost in reverence. This is the Cambodian ballet at its height of perfection. Conceived by artists long forgotten, polished and perfected over a millennium, it is a unique contribution to the world's culture. When it was introduced in Paris for the first time in 1908, 
Auguste Rodin, arbiter of the arts in Europe at the time, wrote, the Cambodians have shown us all that antiquity can contain. Their classics are as great as ours. It is impossible to see human nature brought to a higher state of perfection. We have only the Cambodians and the Greeks. They have found postures which we had not dreamed of, movements which were unknown to us even in ancient times. Since then, the Royal Ballet has won the acclaim of audiences the world over, has gained a renown surpassed only by the masterpieces at Angkor. This fame and the enduring freshness of the Royal Dance, which lies behind the acclaim, are due to the care lavished on the ballet by the Cambodian royal family itself. Forming an intimate part of palace life, it is participated in by young princes and princesses who grow up steeped in its discipline and lore. And in the country of its birth, the dance has influence far beyond the palace walls. The grace it has perfected and perpetuated, the gestures it has preserved and refined are reflected in the greetings, the popular dance, the purity of movement of the Cambodian in his everyday life. Created for ancient kings and carefully preserved, the Cambodian ballet remains a cultural legacy cherished by the modern world.